can sleep again. <laughs> Don't move around too much. I think mom's still awake. That, or she forgot to turn off the TV again. Let's deal with one nightmare at a time. So, are you going to move your ass out of the way for me? Well, I'm just skipping the part where you drag your pathetic ass over to my side of the room and beg me to keep you company. I mean, I do love it when you beg for my help, but let's save it for another night. <laughs> oh, don't kid yourself. There's always another night. How many times now have I had to calm you down after one of your little panic attacks? No, seriously. I've actually lost count. For someone who says you don't need me here, you certainly don't let me sleep all that much anymore. I mean, maybe I wouldn't complain if we were doing something else instead. So, are you going to let me in? Or are we still pretending that you're absolutely fine? Ugh. Why do you have to be so difficult? <laughs> oh, come here. Ah. Hey, hey, Ugh, calm down. Mom's gonna hear us if you keep thrashing around. Yes, I bit you. You are being an ass. Stop pretending you don't need this already. The quicker you accept that, the quicker we can get to sleep. Thank you. God, you're fucking stubborn sometimes. So, what's the plan here? Did you just want to sleep with me? Or did you want to hold me close again? Like last time. I'll let you use my body however you want. <laughs> of course I had to phrase it like that. I got a smile out of you, didn't I? See, I bet you're already realizing how much you needed me here. I honestly don't understand why you keep being so coy, given you clearly... <laughs> hey! Andy? You alright? Okay, well... Of course you're not alright. Neither of us really are. It's just... You startled me as all. No, 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 no! Don't you dare back out on this. I'm here for you. And you need this. So just accept it right now. All right? We promise to always stay together, right? I'm here for you, my Andy. <laughs> I can't help it. You remind me so much of him right now. I remember when you would stay awake throughout the night, holding me close without speaking a single word, playing with my hair, looking only to me for comfort. <laughs> How can I not think of my beloved Andy when you're like this? <laughs> yeah. I bet you're so pissed, huh? If you're so sick of me, then kick me out of your bed. Come on. You can get rid of me anytime you want. But you won't. Will you? That's what I thought. 
Well, you're an asshole too, Andy. Takes one to know one. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll tone it down for just tonight. Here. Damn. You're pretty tense. I don't think I've seen you this bad since right after. <laughs> well, let's not mention her. Did you? <sighs> I don't know. Did you want to talk about it or something? Was the nightmare really that bad? Or were you just being a wimp about it again? <laughs> what? Me? No. I don't get nightmares. Never had. I actually don't dream that much now that I think about it. Or, you know, maybe I don't remember them. Who cares? It doesn't have anything to do with being fair, Andy. I think I'm just better at dealing with my shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're so good at keeping your shit together, aren't you? That's why you're clinging so tight to your little sister. So tight that you're almost choking her. <laughs> oh, what? You gonna choke me if I don't shut up? <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. You're really no fun when you don't fight back. <sighs> that dream really fucked you up, huh? What was this one about? You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I don't really care, either way. Okay, here. Do you mind if I try something out? Good. Okay. Loosen up for a little bit. Don't look at me like that. I said it's only for a little bit. God, get over yourself already. Alright. Close your eyes. I'm being serious. Close them. Oh my god, I just need you to trust me for a second. Oh, don't give me any of that I don't trust you bullshit. You and I both know that everything I do is for your well-being. Even if you can't see that. And I thought you said you didn't want to have a fight. Exactly. Now eyes closed. Now. Okay, there you go. You can open your eyes if you want. God, Andy, can you calm your shit for like five seconds? I'm trying to help you out here. Yeah, it's my chest. Don't think about it too hard. It's only you making such a big deal out of this. Almost like you have a complex or something. Shh. Shh. Shut up. I'm just trying to comfort you. My chest is comfy. And you get to hear my nice, relaxing heartbeat. That's all there is to it. Okay. Well, unless you want there to be more to it. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Uh, look, just try to relax. You're safe. I have you. And as long as you're with me, 
Nothing is ever going to get between us. Now, Andrew, did you want to talk about it at all? You don't have to, but I'm here if you want me to listen. Or I can just stay, just like this, brushing your head until you fall asleep. Whatever would help you the most. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's fine with me. You don't have to talk about it. Just to let your cute little sis take care of you. Everything is going to be okay. I'm real here. Your dreams aren't. So just listen to me. And your thoughts won't be able to hurt you anymore. Just push those bad thoughts to the far back of your mind. They can't hurt you if you don't think of them. Good. You're always so protective of me. Just to let me protect you for a little bit. I hope you know how much I miss this. <laughs> I remember when these nightmares first started. When you would do anything to make them stop. <laughs> how eager you were to run to me. To your cute little sis. So I could help you drown out whatever was cluttering your mind. You don't like to admit it, but you'd be a complete wreck without me, wouldn't you? You can say I'm a handful, you can say I ruined your life, you can even say you wish I was dead, but I know the truth. At the end of the day, Focusing on all of this, focusing on me, that's the only thing distracting you from your own thoughts, isn't it? I don't know why you keep denying this though. I mean, <laughs> sure, I like it fine enough when we tear at each other's throats. But I just figured you'd be so much happier if you just gave it up already and reached out to me. I mean, you did choose me, right, Andy? I'm not going anywhere. I'm never going to judge you. And guess what? No matter what happens right now, in the morning, we'll pretend it never happened. And I'll play along for as long as you still feel guilty about needing this. Even if it is stupid. And oh, so exhausting. You're so lucky, Andy. I can be surprisingly patient when it comes to your backpedaling ass. Just don't keep me waiting too long. <laughs> Every day, slitting that bitch's throat gets more and more appealing. 
<laughs> and you're already asleep. <laughs> Clearly your body knows it needs me at least. If only you could accept that. Accept us. Maybe things wouldn't be so hard for you. You know, I don't get you sometimes. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You're the only person I give a single shit about. The only one I have my eyes on. Yet with every passing day, I feel like I know you less and less. Exactly when did you stop being Andy? I mean, sure, it would be easy to blame that whore of a girlfriend you hang around with. I'm sure she's been an absolutely horrific influence. I guess that's just another way you act so stupid. Always looking for comfort in whatever hussy will put up with your pathetic ass long enough to let you rail them. <laughs> Disgusting. Sometimes, I just can't believe how much of a pervert you've become over the years. My perverted... Stupid, idiot, brother. Hmm. Is that it? Is that all you care about in the end? <laughs> really? I mean, sure. I can't fuck you. I mean... I... Can't. But you know there's so much more to us than that. Far more than whatever some flippant cunt can provide. I mean, I know somewhere deep in there, you understand that. You feel it too. I know you do. You wouldn't have made that blood pact all those years ago if you didn't. Right? Of course. Andy and Lele, together forever. May the world fall apart around us before it tears us apart. What am I kidding? Yeah, you're an idiot. You've always been my idiot. But you're not dumb enough to let something so... pathetic get between us. This Andrew stuff is different, isn't it? So, what is it? Do you hate me? Hate me for always being so close to you? For never letting you out of my sight? I mean, <laughs> I'm not oblivious. I know what people say about me behind my back. Oh, Andrew, why do you keep hanging around your sister? She's so clingy and creepy. She keeps freaking us out. Why do you have to bring her along everywhere you go? <sighs> but you know they're hypocrites. All of them. I mean, aren't they always begging and pleading for your attention? 
And I mean, I guess I can't blame them. Of course they would. Who wouldn't want you? You're the best. You're the kindest, funniest, perfectest, bestest person in the world. Why wouldn't anyone want you? Why wouldn't I want to cling to you? Why wouldn't I want you? I guess I just don't get why you don't want me back. I mean... You chose me back then. <laughs> and yet... And yet, every time I turn around, some meaningless bullshit is stealing you away from me. But I mean, you leave me alone for a little bit. But then those bad feelings come back. Those thoughts you just can't get rid of. And you come crawling back to me, like always. And you know what's so sad about that, Andy? You never learn what you already know. That I'm the only one who can ever truly love you. You know why that is? It's cause I'm the only one who accepts you. And I mean all of you. Including those terrible parts. The parts of you you try so desperately to hide from everyone else. I admit, it'd be cute. If it didn't make you seem so pathetic. <gasps> Wait. Actually, maybe that's it. You want to be a good person again. Is that it, Andy? A good person with a normal life. Just... Like everyone else. <laughs> no wonder you think I'm so evil. I bet it's so convenient to think that. Oh, woe is you. Left to take care of your terrible, evil, rotten, unloved little sister. Oh, it's just so horrible that she ruins everything around you. Absolutely tragic. You could have lived a perfect life, gotten a great job, knocked up some whore, and started a whole new fucked up family. Miles and miles away from me. If only you didn't choose me. But guess what? You did. And do you know why you did? It's simple. It's because you're just as bad as... As I am. You can run from it all you want. But you know... I wasn't the one that locked in that crate. That was all you. You could have backed out at any time. But you didn't. Because you had to protect me. 
because you loved me. Andy loved me. <sighs> I'm not mad about it, by the way. About all of it. All this Andrew horseshit. I know you can't just shake things off the way I can. But honestly, I just wish you got it through your thick fucking skull that you're happier this way. Happier with me. I mean, we were always meant to be together. So why do you keep hurting yourself trying to deny that? <laughs> yep. Definitely still asleep. You would not hesitate to choke me out if you heard any of that. Wouldn't you, Andrew? <laughs> not gonna lie though. A piece of me wishes you would. <laughs> Maybe... <sighs> Maybe later. Honestly, you're lucky. You just look so cute when you're sleeping. I'd honestly only be depriving myself of this view if I woke you up. <sighs> Thank you for not listening, Andrew. I mean it. I don't know if you know this, but talking to you always helps me put things together, I guess you could say. But when the thing I need help with is you, well, you can see the problem. Even you're not that dumb. So thank you for sleeping through all this. For sleeping with me. Even if you refuse to be Andy, I'm glad I get to have my Andy for these little moments together. It's not enough. But I know you'll realize what's good for you. <laughs> you'll realize, one of these days, that I'm all you ever needed. I know you will. Or I'll make you understand. No matter what gets between us, I know you'll always choose me. You always do. It's honestly just up to you to decide how much coming to that conclusion is going to hurt. Sweet dreams, you fucking idiot. I... I... I love you, Andy. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to give a quick shout out to my patrons, including Andy, Blue, Gunslinger, Claxor, Rapture Punk, Amindus, Rowan, Scrimp, Snake Clone, Surge Turkey, and Tianova. Thank you so much, and hope to see you in the next one. Take care, and have a good night.